Avengers! Assemble. Welcome back to the channel. It's the Prevengers, you guys, and welcome back to another Marvel Feature Fight video. And in today's video, we're going to be testing out Spider Gwen at level 70 and level 80 for ABL. So, if you didn't know, today uh, marks the ABL day that falls on female superhero, I'm sorry, human female speed. Um, and because of that, that makes Gwen available. Um, so, we're going to test her out at level 70, like I said. Then we're going to jump to when we get her to level 80 and test it out. Once again, we of course have the same build on her that we had in our last video uh, where we did the level 70 review with a 140 proc obelisk and nothing else has changed. So let's see how it goes. She obviously would thrive in this more if she had a CTP of rage, but unfortunately for me, I do not have any CTPs of rage sitting around to test that out. Uh, so we're just going to go in here blind with the um, uh, 140 proc obelisk. So we got to focus on a lot is uh, using that second skill to sort of move out of the way. But at the same time, last in the last video when we did our um, World Boss Legend PVE review, um, we did uh, miss a lot of procs because we were popping that first and second skill. Uh, we were procking way too uh, late on the first or second skill or way too early. Um, so we got to be careful there this time. I'm going to go ahead and pop the fourth skill here. Wait a sec. Pop the third skill. Then pop the fourth skill to go ahead and cancel him out of that attack. And so far, we're doing not bad. We're at uh, 200,000 points. Obviously, you'd prefer to see uh, your character hit that um, uh, comic card chest because you get a chance at the premium card. That's honestly what you want to focus on for ABL is getting to that uh, premium card chance uh, chest. Um, obviously, it's just a chance, but it's probably the best reward you're going to get out of this, um, along with a bunch of other tier 3 materials and whatnot, of course. Um, but you definitely want to hit that 500,000 point mark at the very minimum. Um, and then, of course, you want to go even higher than that, which it looks like we'll hit that 500,000 point. So she's decent enough to do it. Um, so that's good. All right. So, yeah, we're going crazy in the points. We got to the chest now. So that's cool. Let's see how much higher we can really push her. You want a real delay on the six skill so you can get the explosions. That's another thing that I did screw up in the previous video that I did uh, a review for her. Let's see, we might actually be able to hit um, a million here, which would be awesome uh, at level 70. Not a lot of my level 70 characters can just pop off for a million points in um, ABL. So this would be pretty special and pretty cool uh, to see for me. And it looks like we might just do it. If we don't get hit by anything or... Oh, that's going to be close. Nope, we didn't get hit. But he unfortunately did dodge literally everything. Hopefully our fourth skill comes in here on time. It's being a little slow. There we go. We got it. Perfect. Cancel him out of his little rage thing. And we're only 100,000 points away from a million. I accidentally popped the first skill. Shouldn't have done that. Don't want to waste uh, the procs on accident or anything. We're a real big delay on the six so that we get the explosions there and then go into the rotation. And, oh, very close. Very close. We're, we're right there. We're knocking on the door of a million. And, of course, once we get the next Odin's uh, might, we'll be able to get there. And, boom, there we go. A million points at level 70. Not bad. Not bad for a proc in level 70, like I said. Uh, I had to pop the second skill to get rid of that. We're going to grab the Odin's Might and then get into our rotation here immediately. Hopefully dodge him. Yep, we did. And now the points should go crazy. Let's see if we can get that EOD at uh, 1.2 million here before the end of the fight. We should be able to with this transcended rotation here. Lots of lag. And yep, we get it. Nice. We even go further to 1.5-ish. We'll probably end on 1.5 here. With this last regular rotation. Yep, there's the 1.5. We got three seconds left. Not really going to be able to pop anything except for the first and second skill. And there you go. 1.5 million score for ABL at level 70. Not too bad. Let's go ahead and skip to the next day or however long it takes to go ahead and see if she can beat that uh, score that we just had there with level 80. All right, guys, so we're back here with the very next day. We got her to level 80, which is very nice. We got her potential in three days. 
Um, last night was the reset for ABX and timeline battle, so our score did not stay. But we did look back at the recording, um, and we hit 1.5 million in ABL um, with level 70. So now let's take a look at level 80, see how much higher she can go. Same exact build, didn't change anything other than getting her to level 80, of course. So let's go ahead and test it out, see how this goes. All right, we got to turn the autoplay off first off. We got to all right, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. This first run was very skewed. Uh, we missed a lot of procs, and we got a hit by Surtur a lot and took a lot of damage and lost a lot of points. So we ended up with the same exact score that we did with level 70, 1.5 mil. Uh, so I decided to run it back. We're going to skip here to the uh, second attempt that I had where I actually scored more points. So we can actually see the real difference uh, right now. Um, I'm going to run it back one more time, and I'm going to see here if uh, maybe I just had a bad run. I'm not 100 percent sure because that was a little, a little awkward. That was a little weird. Um, let's go ahead and take a look. All right, let's see this time if we can do a little something more. Okay, there we go. We're getting the full advantage of the transcendent skill there. Very nice. All right, regular rotation. Boom. Run, 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 run. Another regular rotation up to 300,000. Oh, we took a hit there. We should not have taken that hit there. That was unfortunate. Definitely should not have taken that hit. There we go. Cancel them out of that immediately. Then we're going to go straight into the transcended rotation. Very nice. And he dodges it. Wow. He just went ahead and just dodged it all. That's great. All right, let's get the Odin's Might over here. Very nice. And go ahead and pop this. All right. Move out of the way. Have a regular rotation here while he's got his back turned. Plus second skill to kind of move out of the way. We're at 500,000. Now we're going to get the Odin's Might. So this is basically the same spot we were at um, in the last run. So let's see if anything changes here. We're basically doing the exact same thing so far. So we'll see. We hit that one mil mark, then we did better this time than the previous time. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so we're, we're on track for better now. And we're, we're seeing a little better now. Okay, so I think that last run was a little was a little off by me. I, I think I didn't play it too well. I think popping that second skill to avoid uh, getting hit sometimes is a little necessary. Um, but obviously we still don't want it triggering our proc, so we still got to be very careful. Um, all right, we're gonna run over here. I'm gonna grab this Odin's Might real quick. He's gonna jump in the middle here, anyways. It's perfect. I missed the Odin's Might actually. Now that I just looked at it, I thought I grabbed it. Guess not. That's gonna kind of suck. There we go. Okay, we still got it. Good, good, good. All right, so see now we're getting close to that 1.5, and we have 50 seconds this time. So yeah, I think that last run was a little bit of a fluke. I think. Uh, we were just off on uh, our timing, and we got hit a lot by Surtur. And I think that's what threw us off here. Because we're about to get the Odin's Might again. And this time, we're already at 1.5. Um, so it's definitely a huge difference from that first run uh, that we did there. Yep, 1.5 now. Now we have 30 seconds. Now we can go ahead and beat our uh, level 70 score right here, right now, with this Odin's Might now. Yep, there we go. We've broken the record. We're at 1.6 now. Can we hit that 1.2? I'm not sure. Oh, okay, we got hit there a lot. That was unfortunate. I thought I cleared it by going to the side there, and I didn't, but uh, it's okay. All right, we can get one more rotation off here before Odin's Might runs out, I hope. Uh, kind of. I rushed it a little bit. We're going to have 1.8 here. We're going to move out of the way, pop the transcended, get a little off before the time runs out, and 1.8. Okay, so she gets 300,000 additional points there, maybe a little bit more. You could probably play that a little better. Um, but she does improve her ABL score from level 70 to level 80. Like I said, that first run was just a little bit of a fluke. But yeah, but that'll do it for the ABL review for Spider-Gwen. Um, by the time this video comes out, the ABL requirement has probably already changed. It's probably already the next day. We're probably already looking at uh, Blast Supervillain Mail. Um, the next day does have uh, no requirements for ABX, so we might test her out against Shadow Show or Black Widow. Let me know in the comments to see if you want uh, to see that video. Uh, just let me know, and we'll do that comparison as well. Now, the only thing I will say is that, obviously, with Shadow Shell, she has a uh, 200 proc, by the way. 
Um, so she is uh, better than uh, Gwen, uh, proc-wise. The Black Widow has an authority, um, so that comparison might be a little unfair. Uh, who knows? We'll see. But anyways, that'll do it for today's video, guys, from ABL level 72, level 80 for Spider-Gwen. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys. We'll see you all in the next one. Take care.